Okay guys, here goes an update. I was watching my uh, video last time of my collection and it's been a few years. So I wanted to show an updated, some, uh, some friends have asked that I show an updated of my collection. So this is my area that I keep my Star Wars. And uh, my collection has grown, so let's start with the uh, Luke Skywalker Hot Toys. Awesome figure. Very, very nice. Got him on the ceiling there. He had to go there. I don't care what my wife says, he's hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> and uh, my Mike Salzel Studio Scale X-Wing Fighter that I built, painted. Very nice, very detailed, very nice kit. And then my Sand Trooper, or um, uh, Sand People is new from Sideshow, R5-D4, and Hasbro's uh, Death Star Droid. My K-3PO, his eyes light up, but I don't have him lit. And under his control console with some snow on the base now. My Indiana Jones, I had to put him, get that one there, sideshow, so it's not the Hot Toys one. But I like the base, the uh, diorama, it's very nice. So that's that one. And I got my, uh, this is my version, the one that I made the uh, cantina scene. I did get the sideshow, I'll show you that in a little bit. So I need some more cantina guys to go and fill that in. And of course the Master Replicas Studio Scale. Uh, at at very nice, favorite. And my finish, Han Solo and Carbonite, custom built with lights. I had to take off the top light because I don't have room there. So I took it off. And I uh, did some of these pieces out of uh, clay. Uh, what is it? Sculpey clay. I think uh, this is to show like, uh, what is that? Gentle Giant has a bookends. So I wanted to, I saw that at a hobby shop. So I started, I decided to do the table with the food to go with him. I fixed his feet. He has normal feet now. Gave him a better paint job. Looks more accurate. Then my, sorry for the shaking guys. My uh, Tamashi Nations C3PO. Awesome figure, I love that thing man. So worth the money. If you haven't gotten one, get one. It is worth the money. You will not be disappointed with that thing. And I'm waiting for R2-D2 because that's my Hasbro one, which I was customizing, but I don't know. It's not the right size, but it's better than nothing. Gamorian guard there, keeping guard. Little thing is flashing. I have no idea why, but or what the heck, why does that flash? I don't, I don't remember that in the movie, but oh well. That's my archway. Love it. Then, of course, Chewie with... C3P on his backpack, Han Solo, posing, the other DX Luke, Princess Leia, the little, uh, what is this, the little things that you, uh, Disney, there you go, my Marmot, uh, pilot that I got at the Megacon this year very cheap price and stormtroopers stormtroopers that's a Hasbro at at pilot there that's my only episode one figure from Sideshow that I have because he's awesome go to my bounty hunters Forlom IG-88 that is the Sideshow version I had to get him and Hasbro, Hasbro, Sideshow, Boss, 
Awesome. My fake pilot there that I just made from one of my figures. X-Wing pilot with uh, Tamiya, uh, what is that, Tommy helmet. Of course, Yoda's hut. And my ultimate awesome figure, the snow trooper with the E-Web cannon. Awesome. I was so happy when I got this. Turn on the lights, guys. I want to give you some more light here. Uh, he is a repaint, and I gave him a new body. So he's a custom figure, custom paint job on the bike. I could do a little bit better. I might, I maybe will. Gave him a custom base like the other sideshow version has, so he has one stick going into the unit. ATST Hasbro repaint. Of course Boba Fett, exclusive edition. I made him, customized him, made him Return of the Jedi version. So he's got a different backpack. And the gauntlets I painted. I got extra equipment for him so that way he has original stuff or I can put him to Return the Jedi as he is now. Got a new belt, new gauntlets, new backpack. So he's kind of a little kit bash. Little control panel that I've made to go with my Bespin kind of deal there. That was my first attempt. And then my second attempt. Might be a third come along. And here goes the sideshow version of the Cantina. Oh, I got this. Excellent deal. Um, they were having this clearance, or not clearance, but on sale for $69, free shipping. And they gave me a code for $25 off, so 40 bucks. It was on its way here, so couldn't pass that up, even though I made my own. But I was very curious to see, you know, the difference between the one I made from pictures on the internet and this one here. So pretty, pretty spot on, if I do say so myself. The only thing, this is a little bit bigger as far as round, but uh, like I said, from pictures. And the colors are a little darker on the chairs. Custom Han Solo. And his Tauntaun repaint. He's got all his equipment. And he's falling off.
So side truck comes out with that uh, that tauntaun. This is this will do for now. It's pretty cool. I like it. Very impressive. I have no place to put it, of course, but that's the way it is. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think, and uh, I'll check you guys out later. Bye.